you've been looking at Dr. Google and reading up and now you're wondering, does your little one have any problems with their development? Because if they do, you want to be proactive and you want to make sure that you gave your child every opportunity to achieve their best potential. Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a case study of a little one who we met recently here in our clinic. This little one is eight months old and he came in with his mom who was really concerned that maybe something's wrong with his development because Dr. Google said there's certain things she had to look out for. Now it's fantastic that mom is concerned for her little one. Like most parents, we want the best for our child and there's nothing wrong with that. The only problem is if you're reading Dr. Google as your guide, you might end up getting very concerned over something that does not exist. So the best thing she did was to come and seek an expert opinion with one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists. And that's fantastic. That's what you should do. If you're ever in doubt, seek medical advice from an expert pediatric physiotherapist in terms of your child's gross motor skills and development. So we're really excited. We saw this little one. He's eight months old. And the first thing we did was a gross motor skill assessment. So we use a tool like this, which actually shows us the skills that little ones should be achieving. So it's not based on what I feel or you feel. It's not subjective. We're very objective. We're looking at an assessment tool that shows us a child's development. So we're looking at every task that he can do and we're looking at where he sits in terms of his gross motor skills. We mark what we see, we then chart it on a chart like this. So assessment tools like this have percentiles which show us what's normal development, what's fifth percentile, what's 90th percentile. So we know if a child is within what is appropriate for the age or in fact some are more advanced and still we'll know if someone is delayed below those curves. Now this little one was doing everything he should for his age. So when we charted on the curve, he came out within the normal. That means within all those lines that you see. So he was not delayed in his gross motor skills and we could reassure mom very objectively that her child is developing well with his gross motor skills. The second thing we did was we looked at his communication skills. So being expert pediatric physiotherapists, we're very holistic with how we approach a child's assessment and development to determine if there's any areas of concern. This little one is eight months old. He had beautiful eye contact. He looked at his mom. He looked at me. You know, he had shared enjoyment. We were turn taking with the toys and rattling and playing and he followed the toys and followed what we were doing. So in terms of his communication skills, pre-verbal skills of eye contact and turn taking, he was doing beautifully. So there was no indication of any delay in his speech and language skills in terms of his pre-verbal skills and how he interacted with us. So we could reassure mom very objectively that there's nothing wrong with his communication skills, which reflects on his cognitive abilities to interact with us. So that's fantastic. That reassured her because no matter what Dr. Google says, it was not applicable for her child. The third thing we do when we assess a child is we look at their overall development. So we looked at the head circumference, we looked at his weight and his height and his feeding history, the way he's eating and what he was eating each day. And he was growing well. So he had no problems with chewing, eating. He had a good variety of uh, food for his diet. He was the right weight and height and his head circumference was aligned with all of his other growth measures. So we could again say to mom that really there's no indications for that you know, to say that there's something wrong with him because mom wants to see a pediatrician to get brain scan to make sure everything's okay. Now, this child has no indication that there's nothing, you know, something wrong with his development. And so we could reassure mom that, you know, whatever concerns she had, we were objectively able to assess that 
and reassured that her child is performing well for his age and he is doing really well in terms of his development for gross motor skills, his speech and language skills, his uh, fine motor with feeding himself, his ability to manage different foods and his growth overall in terms of his height, weight and head circumference were right on target for him. So we were able to reassure him her mom, um, that baby is okay. So if you are out there and you have a little one and you're conscious of making sure you want your child to have their best development and Dr. Google is scaring you a little bit, what you need to do is to ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists. We're able to do a full assessment on your child to reassure you if there was something wrong or if actually everything is on target and developing well. The number to ring here at My Favorite Physio is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there who's concerned about their child, don't let them sit around worrying and checking on Dr. Google. Why don't you like and share this video with them so they can hear what we can do for their child and reassure their concerns. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.